What's happening everybody? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Scott Mitterall and today we are talking about three things that you can, I know I just put six fingers up, but three things that you can do if you come down with COVID or are sick with your one wheel. It's going to be legit. We hope we inspire you right where you are. On this channel we love adventures and we love one wheeling and we're bringing all that to you today. Let's get it started. Five, four, three, two, one. Today we're downtown by the Minnesota Vikings Stadium. Oh, oh. <laughs> you are brand new around here. We're always trying to spread the stoke about one wheels and give you reviews. It's been, a, it's been a hot second since we played that intro there. I like that. We got a new one in the pipelines. It's going to be released soon. If you're brand new around here, we're always dropping content about One Wheels and Adventures. We like to bring you latest products. We like to share with you ways you can use your One Wheel that maybe you've never thought of. Games, races, all these different things and adventures. We are at the end, the tail end of a great adventure to all the Great Lakes in 24 hours. Could we paddleboard and ride One Wheels around or by all the Great Lakes in 24 hours. If you'd like to see if that's possible, I will put a link at this video to the very first video so you can watch them all snuggle in, falls upon us, and enjoy it. It's a great series of sharing how you can still have adventures with your friends and one wheels. So enjoy that. Now, why are we bringing this to you today? And why are we pausing? Some of you are like, but I thought we were gonna find out who wins the one wheel today. I know, so did I. But something unexpected happened this week. Well, one of our family members, see I have eight, kid, eight kids and one wife, two dogs, and a cat. And one of our family members got COVID this week and kind of shut everything down as I needed to step in and help take care of things around here. Lots of people are napping. A lot of people have a lot of supplements in them, trying to get them on the mend and trying to keep it from spreading. But here's the honest truth. I might be in quarantine for the next like two months if everyone gets it in like some kind of order of like every five days somebody comes down with it and that prolongs the, you get it, right? We could be here for a hot second. Uh, you might be my only contact to the outside world. It's true, it's already been that way this week. It's been one of those weeks. I, I did shower for this video, so. You're welcome. Uh, we're really stoked about the video we're gonna drop next week. It's about Lily and I having an adventure on our one wheels in the fall. This time of year, uh, you're gonna love it. It's gonna be one of those highly educational, a lot of adventure, and you gotta ask yourself, this is this is Scott, and you're gonna enjoy it, so don't miss that next week at eight o'clock. Binge watch all of our stuff. Let me give you three things that you can do if you get sick with your one wheel. Some things that'll help you get through it. Some things that I've actually had firsthand experience on. One, we have one wheels everywhere and I love riding them. So, side note, did you know, maybe you've been missing some of our midweek uh, videos that we drop often that are, are all about products. What, like we have, we got a brand new state of the art custom fender. We haven't even opened it, but we know what it is. We're gonna do it on camera. Someone was so grateful, gracious to send this to us. We're gonna, we're gonna bust that one open in, in a couple weeks here. We have some really cool backpacks and straps and, and, and some other things that our, our One Wheel community have sent us to film. But we've had to take a pause on those things because the truth is I've been training for something. I've been training for something that it, it took a lot of time. I had to say no to a lot of things I enjoyed, which happened to be a little bit of one wheel. And to be truthful, uh, until this last week, I haven't been on my one wheel since the Great Lake races. And that's because I've been training to race a 100 mile race on my feet, running consecutively. I was up to 50 miles a week ago. This coming Tuesday was the big grand debut. Sadly, that will not be happening because of COVID and those things, trying to keep myself healthy and the family healthy. I cannot do that. I've had to pause my running and training to make sure my immune system is beefed up uh, in case uh, it makes it all the way around back to me kind of deal. So we paused all of those things in, in hopes to keep everybody healthy. So when we get back on our feet, we're gonna be pretty stoked to bring you some of those things. We're actually, because of the time of year, gonna to have to say no to the 100 mile run until sometime next year, I have a feeling. We'll meet with my coach about that. Okay, you came here for less of that and more of what are the three things you think I should be doing? 
with my one wheel if I am sick or have COVID, especially with COVID. Well, during that quarantine period, you know what you can be doing? Riding your one wheel. You could be outside riding your one wheel when you are symptom free and all those, whatever it is for you, you could be out riding your one wheel and there's so much freedom in riding your one wheel. Like, for real, it's so much fun. Like. That's something to look forward to. Second, and why I have these things sitting here is that man, if you can't get outside and ride and you're still fighting it, but you're able to sit around, but you gotta take it easy, order up some guardrails and make your one wheel look amazing. Like we did that on our way to Niagara Falls. Oh my gosh, it was really hard to do in the RV, but we did, we, we just took a second to put it all together. This was way before COVID struck our family. But it's just something fun to do, it takes your mind off of things. So order up some new things from One Wheel or Craft and Ride or Float Life. Get with the look you want and put it together because it gives you something forward to look for. It gives you, it gives you something to look forward to as you are getting better. It gives you like, I want to get better so I could get back to riding. I want to ride this thing outside, all of those things. So order it up, You'll be, so that's two. First is you look forward to riding. Second of all, take care of making it look good. And the third thing is, again, it's all inside. If you're still in the early stages of feeling sick or have COVID, guess what? You can actually clean your one wheel. We've got a how to clean video on our YouTube channel that will show you how to clean it. Clean it at your own risk the same way we've done it. Those are three things you can do if you're sick and have COVID. Riding it is the highlight of it all. Uh, you know, I'm fortunate to have uh, live out on my uh, own with my family and not have a bunch of people around. So riding it is a lot of fun and it gives you a chance to get your mind off of things. Okay, that said, thank you so much for watching. Uh, we'll keep you posted on how things are going. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram. We might post some things there. Uh, at the moment, everyone is doing okay. And I don't know if you can start hearing the children, they're starting to wrestle. I had them tucked away for a moment. Those that are still feeling well, those that are not should be still napping. I've got a few more things to do. Sanitation is my job at the moment. So I gotta sanitize a few more things. We're trying to slow the spread down. So if you have any tricks, any tidbits on how to do that, leave a comment down below. Or better yet, leave a comment down below what you would do in quarantine with your one wheel. We'd love to hear it. Give us a thumbs up. That would let us know that you want us to get better. Two, subscribe to the channel if you've not done that. Where we do promise adventures on one wheels and everything in between. Like I said, you don't want to miss next week's video. 8 a.m. here on Sunday is going to be mind blowing. So make sure you subscribe for that. Now, if you want more of great conversation and get to hang out with Lily and Joey in studio, they are live right after this video on Sunday mornings. You can click the link that's in the live chat or the link that's gonna be popping up somewhere on here. You can click that, they'll be live in the studio. Joey's talking on the thought of how to control the words that come out of your mouth. Like seriously, have you thought about the words you use? Are you an encourager or a discourager? The comments that you've wrote behind or on people's videos, have you encouraged them to keep going or are you discouraging them? Maybe you're one of those individuals that think, well, I like the sandwich approach. Great job, you suck, you're cool. That's still not a great way to do it. We're gonna talk about that on the other channel, so go ahead and click over there. We'll see you next week with another one-wheel adventure. Woo! Have a good one, guys.